In today's video, I'm going to share with you step by step on how you can get started selling your digital products using a stand store. And at the end of the video, I am going to share with you my personal pros and cons to help you decide if this is the right platform for you. But first, Hey boss friends, welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here, my name is Tisha and I'm here to teach you how to use online business tools that to help you create and sell digital products. So let's go ahead and jump right into this tutorial. So if you've been scrolling TikTok, you probably heard of Stan, but what is Stan? In a nutshell, Stan is a link in bio digital store designed to help creators monetize their content with a stand store, you're able to build out your email list. You can sell digital products or e-courses, have a booking calendar, or you can have a subscription membership. The question that everybody always asks is how much does it cost? Stan offers two pricing tiers. For their standard creator plan, it is $29 a month. And for their creator pro plan, it is $99 a month. Only certain features are available with the pro plan. I will point those features out later in this video. One of the great benefits with using Stan is that it has 0% transaction fees. If you want to try Stan out for yourself, they do have a 14 day free trial that you can sign up for. That way you can go in and test it out to see if this is a platform that you may want to use to sell your digital products. To get started with Stan, you will need to sign up for an account. To sign up, you want to click on the sign up button in the top right hand corner of their homepage. Then you'll be prompted to enter a username. Your username will be your store name and this name will also appear in your Stan URL link. So you may want to choose a name that's relevant to your business or your personal brand. Next, you have to enter your name and email your phone number and a password in order to create an account. After you enter this information, you will be prompted to enter in your credit card information. Now just keep in mind that you will not be charged for your stand account until after your 14 day free trial. I've already done that, so let's go ahead and jump right into the stand store dashboard. After you enter your information, it's gonna bring you to the stand dashboard or the back end of your stand store here in the top right this is where you will see your url link and this is the username that i entered for my stand store if you want to just copy that you can simply just click the copy button here on the top right once you sign up they're going to give you this little checklist that you have to go through to get set up so i'm going to show you guys and walk you through this first process so first let's add a profile picture once you add your picture you can crop it and if you like how that looks you can hit confirm once you add your profile picture, you click on the next step. So you're ready to add your social links. You click on add your social links. You can add a short description of yourself. You have up to 80 characters. Here you can enter in URLs for your TikTok and Instagram. If you wanna add other social medias, you can click on this little arrow here and you can add your YouTube, Discord, Twitter, Snapchat, and you can just scroll down and see what other options that you have. Let me go ahead and add my information here. And once you're done adding your information, you just want to scroll and make sure you hit save. The next step is to set up your direct deposit. You will need to link your PayPal account or your Stripe account in order to receive your payouts from your stand store. For right now, I'm going to skip this step. The last step of the checklist is to create your products. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And here are the different products that you can add to your stand store. You can build your email list sell a digital product or a digital download, book your calendar, a custom product. This is like ask me anything type of product, your course, your membership, set up a webinar, or you can have your customers go to an external link. So if you have some content that you want to get monetized, once they make a payment, they'll get redirected to this external link. So I'm going to select sell a digital product. So the first step is to pick your button size. You have the option for the call out. It looks like this or a regular button. For my digital product, I want to use the call out button. Next, I'm going to choose my image that I want to use. You can upload your own image or you can use one of the images from their stock library, but I'm actually going to upload my own image and then I'm going to crop my image. And as you make your changes, you're going to see your changes 
over here in this preview window. So next I'm going to add my title and some information and then I'm also going to the next step is to add some details about your digital product. So I'm going to add the title, a little short description, and I'm also going to give change the call to action button. No. Crap. The next step is to add the details of your digital product. You can change the title, add a short description, and you can leave the call out or the call to action as download now, or you can change the call to action. So I'm going to show you how you do that. You simply just highlight, delete, and add your own information. Okay, so if your title, your title, with your title, you are limited to 50 characters. So, hmm. the next step is to add some details about your digital product. You can add a title, a short subtitle, and a call to action button. Keep in mind, you are limited with the characters. So, if you have a long title, you may need to shorten your title. That's what happened to me. I'm going to go ahead and add my details for my digital product. Once you're done adding your digital product details, you click on Next. If you're not ready to continue, you can save it as a draft. So, once the customer clicks on the first call out button, it's going to bring them to your landing page. So that is the next page that you need to customize or edit. The first step is to select your image. Your image size has to be 1920 by 1080. You can click on choose a size. Again, you can upload your own image or choose one of the images from their photo library. Once you upload your image, you can hit crop. Next, you can write a short description about your product. The next step is to write a short description about your product. You can write a title here. Just keep in mind that that title will appear over your image. Next is to add a, a brief description of your digital product. Um, this would be a great space for you to highlight the benefits of your digital product. The next step is to set your price. If you skip that option to set up your PayPal or Stripe account in the beginning of the setup, it will not allow you to set your price. You will need to do that before you continue. So let me go ahead and do that and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished connecting my account so I can add the price. So you can add your price here. So let's add the price and you can make the price any price that you want it to make. If you want to add a discount price, you can turn that on. Next, if you have any reviews, you can add your reviews here. And then in step five is to collect the info. So this is going to be the, um, what is this? Step number five is to set up your step number five is basically to set up your checkout fields. This first section here is for you to add another call to action. These fields are automatically there, the name and email. You cannot change those. If you want to add additional fields, you can do that. And then you also have another call to action button. And this is what it looks like. You can change this if you want to. And then step number six, if you have the pro account, you can add a discount code. You can add limited quantities. And then you can also offer a payment plan. So those options 
are only available with the pro plan. Once you have all of your information, you're going to click next. So after completing the landing page, next is to upload your digital product or use the redirect URL if you want your customer to go to a different external website after they've purchased or made their payment. So I'm going to go ahead and click on upload to upload a digital product. Once it's been uploaded, you're going to get this little green check and the done confirmation and you're going to see it over here in your preview. Before you publish your digital product, you want to go to the top right here and click on options. And you have a few more features and options available to you for your digital product. Now, these first three features, email flows, order bump, and affiliate shares, all of these features are only available with the Creator Pro account. With the email flows, you are basically able to create an email sequence. With order bumps, you can add an additional offer or additional product as an upsell and then affiliate shares is that you can create your own affiliate marketing program for your digital product next you can add a promotional video so if you want to add like a little video to showcase your digital product you can add that here next is your confirmation email this is the email that will go out to your customers after they've made their purchase so you can customize that information here. And then the last option is to integrate your email marketing platform. Currently, the only email marketing platform that Store integrates with is MailChimp. So if you use another platform like ConvertKit or Flowdesk, you will need to use Zapier in order to connect your email marketing platform to your Stand Store. Once you're ready, you want to hit publish. And once you're published, your store is live, your digital product is live, and you can start sharing your stand store link on your link in bio for your TikTok or your Instagram. If you want to add additional products, you want to click on add product and go through the steps that I just showed you and add that other product. Next, if you want to customize your store and add a little bit of personality to your store, you want to click on edit designs. Stand Store does offer a few color palettes that you can choose from. You can also paste in your own color code to match your branding. If you scroll to the bottom, they do also have some templates that you can choose from if you want to change out the look of your Stand Store. Uh, just keep in mind that you will need to choose a template. You're not able to create your own store design from scratch and whatever font style or size that comes with that template that is what you are basically stuck with. so next i want to go through the different items over here on your left hand menu starting with the income option it's going to bring you basically to your income analytics this is just a snapshot of your income that you've made with your digital product store with stan you're able to see your total revenue your account balance you will see your uh, money that's being held by Stan and any pending money that you have here. If you also connected your PayPal account, it will show you money that's being paid from PayPal and your Stripe account. If you scroll down, you'll be able to see information regarding your orders. You can see when they purchase and which product that they purchase and the payment method. These options here are like filter options. And then you can also download this information as a CSV file. So here's your analytics page. You can change the time frame by selecting the drop down. So you can select from last week to last month, so up to six months. You can see your total revenue. And if you keep scrolling, you'll see all the information that you're able to see. You can see your store views. You can see your leads. So if you set up the email list builder, you can see that information here. You will be able to see your product page views for each product that you create a page for. You can see your click breakdown for each time someone clicks on buttons in your stand store. Next, you're able to see your traffic sources. You're able to see which platforms are bringing you traffic. You're able to see your conversion rates. And at the bottom, you're able to see your referrals. So you go back over to the left hand side, you click on audience. And again, every time someone buys or 
a product from you or sign up on your email list, you're going to see that information here. And then you can download that as a CSV file and then you can upload it anywhere that you want to have that information. Next is email flow. So basically email flows are email sequences, but in order to access this feature, you will need to have the Creator Pro account. So here are some other apps that are within the stand store. You can add funnels. If you wanted to set up funnels, you will need to have a Creator Pro account. The last thing I want to show you is the Ask Stanley. Ask Stanley is their AI customer service chat bot. You can ask it questions if you're having any issues or to help you troubleshoot inside of your Stanley store. Okay, boss friends, so that is how you set up your stand store to start selling your digital products. If you are interested in stand, be sure to take advantage of their 14 day free trial. Now, as promised, let's get into these pros and cons, starting with the pros. The first pro that I want to mention is their 0% transaction fee, and this is huge because this means more money in your pocket, especially if you sell a high volume of digital products, whereas other digital, as other digital platforms will charge you a transaction fee. The second pro that I want to mention is that it is a simple platform, which means you can get started right away. There's no coding or comp complicated tech involved. You can literally get your store set up within 30 minutes. The last pro that I want to mention is that it's straight to the point. The customer can access the product that they want to sell immediately. They don't have to scroll through a sales landing page with tons of copy, or they don't have to click through multiple clicks to get to the digital product that they want to purchase. And this has a positive impact on the customer's buying experience. Now let's get into these cons. The first con that I want to mention as of making this video, they only have one email integration, which is MailChimp. So if you don't use MailChimp as your email marketing platform, you can use Zapier, but this could be a hassle and you may choose to use a platform that already integrates with your current platform. Now this may change in the future, but like I said, as of making this video, it's only MailChimp. The second con is that they don't offer a shopping cart option it's not a shopping cart platform and this could be a negative for anyone who has multiple digital products that they are trying to sell if your customer wants to purchase multiple products from you they would have to check out for each product that they want to purchase and this could have a negative impact on the customer's buying experience Whereas if they had a shopping cart system, the customer can add all of the digital products that they wanted to purchase and only check out once. And the last con that I want to mention is their creator pro plan. The first issue that I have with the plan is that you're not aware of which features are available with the pro plan until you sign up for an account. And to me, this is very deceptive. I'm not sure what their intentions are on how they design their platform or their website to provide information. However, I would have appreciated if they were more transparent about which features were included in which plan so you can automatically know right away if this is a platform that you want to sign up for. And the second issue that I have with the Creator Pro plan is the price. I think that $99 is a bit steep for minimum features, especially compared to other platforms who have these features that are included with their minimum plan and they don't charge $99 for their features or for their plans. So those are my pros and cons with using a stand store. Hopefully this has helped you decide if you want to choose stand to start your digital product business. If you want a more extensive list of tools to help you kickstart your digital product business, I did create a toolkit with 50 essential tools to help you get started. I will leave a link down below in the description box so you can learn how you can get access to that toolkit. Until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.